Children can drown in a surprisingly small amount of water. So be very careful, extremely vigilant, and always be sure that you know where the children are if they're around water. The other thing is that children often, if they are drowning, it's not like in the movies when they're thrashing around. It can be very quiet and they can just disappear. So again, vigilance is really important. If you were to find a child unconscious in water, really important that you get them out as quickly as possible. Ideally, head downwards, pulling them out like that. And the moment they're on dry land, what you want to do is tilt the head, lift the chin, check to see if they're breathing. If they're not, you want to start with five rescue breaths straight away. And hopefully, those rescue breaths will end up stimulating the brain. The carbon dioxide in your breath that you're breathing out can stimulate the respiratory center in the back of their brain and cause them to start breathing, which is great. So five breaths, if that doesn't work, then 30 compressions to two breaths and you would keep going. You're not going to try and empty them or anything. The majority of the time, there isn't water in the lungs that we, we hear about. It's just the fact that it's like a suffocation that's happened when they've drowned. So keep doing the CPR, get help on the way. If somebody can bring a defibrillator, that would be fantastic. You need an ambulance fast and you keep resuscitating. And hopefully they will come back. The chances of coming back from drowning, if you're pretty quick getting them out, are pretty good. Make sure you keep them warm because they'll be cold having come out of water and if you have had to resuscitate someone or if someone has been unconscious in water, really important you look out for secondary drowning and that they are always checked out in a hospital so that they can ensure that there aren't any signs of secondary drowning. Secondary drowning occurs when there's inflammation in the lungs as a result of what's happened in the water and that causes the lungs to start secreting fluid which causes this secondary drowning and that can be fatal. So really important you get them out quickly, you start CPR quickly if that's necessary. If they've come round fast when you've done CPR they'll need to be in the recovery position, they'll probably be sick, they'll probably will be draining some water but they can cough it all up themselves and then you get them seen in a hospital as quickly as possible.